Hi, this is Lee with learningwithlee.com. We are on part four of our how to project. Um, we're going to get our project online today. We're just reviewing, practicing the things, some of the things we've learned. Um, so I am already in my correct place. Let me get out. <laughs> change directory, if you saved it like I have, you would say change directory cd space documents slash projects. Um, you can always type ls to list what's in there and make sure you're writing things the right way. Change directory how to. We've already initialized a git repository, so there should already be a git folder in there. Um, so it's not going to list it there, but um, you have to like tell Windows to show it to you. Um, we are going to write git add space period. Git status will show you what you're changing, what you're adding. Git commit two m's hyphen m. Um, you know, putting on no, put on what do we do? Put on recipes and images. I don't know. Just say what changes you've made. All right, and git push origin master because we've already done it once, so you don't have to use the hyphen u um, the next time that you do it. And then you go to the repository and go to settings, scroll down, GitHub pages, source, change none to master branch. And then it will give you the link where you'll find it. While we're waiting for that to load, I'm going to take you to favacongenerator.org. I will give you this link. Um, you choose a file. We're going to change this setting to create a favicon. Um, you can, you know, it'll make all these different little icon symbols for you. Um, what this is going to do, go back up, make these little things, these little pictures. There's your GitHub little picture, right? YouTube, WordPress, it makes those little pictures. So you get your own, well, I already have mine on there. I'm going to make that little picture right there. Um, we do that by doing this, okay? So we're going to create just this one, change the thing, create favicon. You can download it, and you want to save it to... The right place in your project. So I'm going to save it in images and then I guess we want this one. Let's try that. We're going to put it in the head of our HTML. All right. And then you need to change your file path to wherever you saved it. Make sure this matches. Okay, it's favicon.ico. It's an icon file, not like a JPEG or something. Um, so you just want to make sure that matches, um, and then it will show up. And if you're just adding that now, then you'll need to come back here, type git add again, or you could even just say git add index.html, that's the only thing that you've changed. But it's not true, we saved a picture, so don't do that. Um, just say get add like that again, and we'll find everything you changed and put it in there. Um, and then commit it again, and then push it again, and get it online. Um, and every time you do that, you need to give it a couple minutes. You need to give it a few minutes to update. The cache will, you know, hold on to what was there for a while. You need to give it time to refresh and get your changes on there. There we go. There's my, I clicked on the link and I have a website. Um, there's lots more we need to still do to it, but it's a good start. Um, so get yours online. You can share the link to your page in the comments. And I'll see you next lesson. Well, we'll keep moving forward.